Make sure that you watch until the end for before and after pictures and videos. Hey Glam Fam, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button in order to join the Glam Fam and take flight with us. We'd love to have you here, okay? We are growing and expanding and we are on the road to 30K, so make sure that you are a part of this journey. So you guys, today I'm here to share with you guys my body transformation journey. I have did this video in the past here on my channel, but a lot of you guys wanted an updated version, so I decided to go ahead and start from the beginning and work my way on up to where I am currently at. Now you guys, this has been a long journey for me. I'm pretty sure that I've shared the story here previously on my channel, but I started transforming my body years ago. In fact, I started transforming my body in my early teen years. I started waist training at a very young age. I believe that I told you guys that I was 13 when I started waist training, which that's when I got my first waist trainer. And you guys, I was so, 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 so happy about this waist trainer, but I wasn't very consistent with waist training until we got to about 2017, 2018. Nonetheless, y'all, I thought I was really doing something with this waist trainer. And I was so small at that time that I couldn't even really fit the waist trainer, okay? So I wasn't really getting any results from it, which hence, that's why I started using my waist trainer later on in my journey. Now, I'm not going to use this video to go over the same points that I've already touched. If you guys are interested in my whole entire backstory, then make sure that you guys check out my previous body transformation video that I did here on my channel. Nonetheless, I'm here to share with you guys different types of videos and pictures and all in all, some of the things that have helped me on this journey, okay? Okay, that's what we here to discuss today, girlfriend. So grab your popcorn, grab your water, and hey, before I really get into this, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button, okay, to show me that this is the type of content that you like. And let's get started. So I believe that I've told this story here on my channel, but I was really, really slim. In my younger years, 12, 13, 14, I spent a long time vast majority of my teen years being very slim which was not odd but if you look around most of the kids that are 12 13 and 14 now are of a bigger size right so I'm looking around and I'm like hmm I'm so skinny like whenever I'd leave the house or whenever I'd be around certain family members there's people grabbing me to my some girl you too skinny I don't really like that and I'm sitting there like why would you say that to a child whereas if I looked at you and I said girl you too fat I don't like that then there will be an issue right anyway nonetheless I just brush it off because I never really had a problem with being slim or with my self-confidence for some reason even when I looked a little funny looking in my life I always thought that I was really doing something like that I was really that girl okay and no matter what couldn't nobody knock me off of my high horse so even though I was shaped like a twig I felt like I was still winning, okay? All right, little 13, 14 year old Maddie felt like she was still winning. Um, so regardless of how people criticized my weight, I still felt like I was that girl. So don't ever think that you ever tried my self-esteem in any way, okay? Because baby, I still thought I was really doing it. But as time progressed on, I was like, you know what? I do actually want to gain some weight, okay? Because I stayed at 100 pounds for a long time. And let me tell y'all something. When I hit that 100 pound milestone, I was so happy. I was so happy to be 100 pounds. Like, <laughs> girl, it was like something major for me when I finally hit that milestone, which I believe that I was like 12, 13 when I finally hit 100 pounds. My metabolism was fast for a long time. And then I started working my way up. So it took me a year or two, probably three years to end up hitting 110. After then I hit 120. Um, after then I hit 130, 140. And right now I'm kind of like in the 145, 150 range, okay? So it took me a while of working my way up to where I currently am at. And you guys, I'm so happy about the results that I have received. One thing that I can say that has helped me a lot in this journey is make sure that you waist train. If you're going through a journey of gaining weight, picking up weight, make sure that you waist train throughout this journey, okay? Because it is going to be so beneficial for you because it is very hard to prevent 
fats and different things like that from coming into play in your midsection okay thankfully i'm not a person who really picks up weight in my midsection when i gain weight i gain weight in my butt my hips and my legs which i've shared previously here on my channel but i want to make sure that i reiterate that because most of us all have a specific area where we pick up weight and then when we lose weight most of us have a specific area where we can tell hey girlfriend you're losing weight okay so I'm no different. I just pick up my weight in those specific areas. But I have noticed that waist training has definitely helped me in the midsection too. Um, in terms of things like back rolls and just getting that overall hourglass shape, okay? Which of course you can't really prevent a FUPA with a waist trainer. Um, when I say FUPA, y'all know what FUPA means. If you don't, it basically just means a fat stomach, okay? A fat stomach with a little bit of some extra added to it but we ain't gonna get into all the technicalities of that in today's video because this is a pg-13 channel okay anyways um so you can't really prevent belly fat with a waist trainer but what you can do is make sure that you get that hourglass shape when you do pick up that extra weight which one thing that people always go over whenever i make these videos is waist training doesn't work waist training doesn't work and waist training doesn't work which i'm here to tell you that yes it does work i am a living testimony of it if you look at some of my older videos i was shaped like a box now you know i could i could have just been shaped like a box due to the fact that i hadn't received my grown woman body yet and i was still a child so i was still going through puberty and going through the motions but nonetheless if i never would have did waist training well i ain't even gonna lie like that because my mom is um shaped hourglass like naturally so i don't know but other women in my family are not are not shaped hourglass like i'm not here to throw shade at anybody i'm just saying other women aren't especially on my mom's side they ain't got it like that so <laughs> you guys when i started picking up weight i did my waist training and that helped me a lot with gaining the hourglass shape but also that could be just due to genetics that i ended up picking up the hourglass shape because like i said my mom definitely has the hourglass shape regardless of what size she is or has been um she has the hourglass shape honest okay so that helped me a lot um i also did use the vaseline and olive oil um treatment which as you guys know i've shared that here on my channel as well so you guys might want to check that out too because that helped me out a lot in terms of bomb gains and different things like that because i just recently actually started working out not too long ago probably like a year ago at this point but i am now you know just now getting consistent within this year so i just started working out so i wasn't getting bomb gains specifically from working out i was getting bomb gains from Vaseline and olive oil, just different types of treatments, um, which are the things that I share here on my channel now at this point. Um, but you guys, it has been a long, bumpy ride for your girl, okay? I will say that um, it has not been an easy time coming because picking up weight was something that was very hard for me and still is because I know that if I miss one day of eating, all of my pounds shed off. I lose weight like this. And the first place that I lose weight in is my face and then it works its way down. Like, I'm pretty sure that y'all can tell in some of my previous videos, I did end up losing weight because there was a period of time that I wasn't really eating you know that much probably around July August like I wasn't really eating that much because your girl was sorting out a lot of stuff in her mind okay so I wasn't really focused on eating um but now I'm getting my thickness back I'm getting my sexiness back okay because I ain't dealing with none of that poo I ain't dealing with none of that so <laughs> yeah so if you guys are just here for before and after shots i'm gonna leave them at the end of this video because i'm pretty sure we're at the end of this video because girl i just been rambling um but it's been a long journey for me so if you are someone who is looking to improve your body just know that it is definitely possible it just takes time consistency effort um and just staying on that consistent path of i'm going to work towards getting this i'm going to waist train i'm going to eat what i need to eat i'm just going to try my hardest to get my body to where I want it to that's all it is is constant dedication because it took me years 
to get to where I currently am at, okay? And I also don't want anybody to think that you have to be shaped a certain type of way. You are beautiful the way that you are. Don't ever let social media or anything trick you into believing that you have to be a certain type of way because God made you the way that you are for a reason. But there's nothing wrong with tweaking and improving things a little bit. I just wanted to share with you guys how I naturally picked up weight. I did not take any type of things like a bit of man or a bit of man. I have you say that um, I'm probably gonna put it across the screen because honey YouTube flags for that they flag for that okay I don't know what it is about that right there putting it across the screen now but they flag for it so anyways I hope that y'all enjoyed me rambling and ranting and I hope that this video gives you some help and some insight of course I'm gonna continue making videos on how to improve the body so if you just want to watch and learn then definitely stay tuned into my channel because honey it will be coming soon I'm coming through with all the beauty tips hacks and tricks with all the secrets with everything that you need to know to improve your body and your life I am here for it honey okay so let's go ahead and get right into these before and after pictures and videos and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button you guys it helps out the channel a lot and I'm so thankful for all of you guys that do take that extra step Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. Yeah. 